with higher mortgage rates, with economic uncertainty, and with what appears to be a cooling real estate market, is buying a home today still a good investment? This is the Martini Mortgage Podcast. And our primary purpose of this podcast series is to inform, entertain, and educate. The information, opinions, and recommendations presented in this podcast series does not constitute legal or other professional advice, opinions, or endorsements of any kind. Welcome to episode 163 of the Martini Mortgage Podcast, which we are calling Six Reasons Why Now. My name is Kevin Martini, and I am a certified mortgage advisor and producing branch manager and MLS 143962 with the Martini Mortgage Group at Gold Store Mortgage Financial Group Corporation and MLS 3446 Equal Housing Lender. Okay, now with all that said, let me start with the facts. We all need to have a roof over our head when we put our head on the pillow every night. Some people will rent that roof and others will own that roof. Listen, there's absolutely nothing wrong with renting and there's a time to rent. However, that time is not now. Let me be 100% transparent with everyone. Home ownership is not right for everyone. But for those it is right for, they will find it is truly easier to make $1 million with real estate than it is at their nine to five job, even if they have a side hustle. Leverage, appreciation, hedge, less risky, potential tax benefits, and retirement are the Martini Mortgage Group top six reasons why now and in the future, Real estate is an epic long-term investment. Before I get laser focused on our six reasons why now, let me talk about two things that are on the mind of many, and they may be on your mind too. What are they? Higher mortgage rates and future home values. There's no way to sugarcoat it, folks. At the time of this recording, Mortgage rates are at a 20-year high. It's hard to believe that 12 months ago, mortgage interest rates started with a three, and today they start with a seven, and these higher interest rates have put the question of affordability on the radar for many future home buyers that want to become homeowners. It's my opinion, mortgage rates are gonna get worse before they get better but they will get better. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. I'm not the only one that thinks this. Fannie Mae has shared, they believe mortgage rates will start with a four in 2023. Personally, I think it's more towards the end of 2023 to the beginning of 2024. Now I feel the pain of higher mortgage rates with every family I serve, but I get some comfort when I'm able to provide them the comfort knowing that rate they get today will not be the rate they will have in the future and they are simply dating it most likely. Crazy, but it's true. I believe everyone that gets a home loan today or who has secured a home loan in 2022 will finance it towards the end of 2023 to the beginning of 2024 to help There are advanced strategies developed by the Martini Mortgage Group to help families we serve secure a mortgage rate that is below market temporarily to tackle the affordability challenge. In fact, recently I helped a client secure a rate that was 3% below the market. If you want to learn more about it, give myself or fellow mortgage strategist Logan Martini a jingle by dialing 919-238-4934. Another concern is the fear of a bubble, or worse, we're actually in a bubble and it's getting ready to burst like it did during the housing crisis in 2008. The housing market of today is absolutely nothing like the housing market of 2008. We can talk about 
the qualifications of the borrower, the equity position, but the major point is supply. In 2008, there was too much supply. And right now, there is an undersupply of homes available so much. The undersupply will take a decade for the supply and the demand to neutral. Let me be frank. I do believe national month-over-month home prices could decline. However, annual home prices are not expected to decline. With that said, Understand that real estate is not just local, it is hyper-local. In addition, real estate is not a short-term play, it is a long-term play. The preferred report of the Martini Mortgage Group to forecast future home prices is the Home Price Expectation Survey done by Pulsenomics. This is not one person's opinion, but the opinion of over 100 experts. According to the most recent survey, the five-year cumulative appreciation is forecasted basically right at 25%. And that means a $400,000 home today, according to the Home Price Expectation Survey, is expected to be worth $500,000 in five years. Now that I address this elephant in the room, Let me talk about the Martini Mortgage Group top six reasons why now and in the future, real estate is an epic long-term investment. Reason one of six why now is leverage. Housing is one of the only leverage investments still available today. Simply put, leverage is the use of borrowed money to increase your return. To illustrate, let us assume that you want to buy a home in Raleigh and that home is priced at, say, $500,000. And you have 20% saved. So let's look at the transaction in detail. You would buy that home for $500,000 and you would put 20% down. That is $100,000. And you would get an epic mortgage rate for $400,000 with the Martini Mortgage Group at Gold Star Mortgage. Now, let me fast forward, say, a year. In other words, you got the home and you got the mortgage and you moved in and you lived in it for 12 months. For the purpose of conversation, let's assume the home appreciated 5%. This $500,000 home you purchased 12 months ago is now worth $525,000. Assuming that's your only asset, your net worth is now $525,000. Now, think about this. Let's say you didn't buy that $500,000 home in Raleigh, and let's assume that you purchased a $100,000 home for cash in Raleigh 12 months ago. Using the 5% depreciation in the previous example, then your net worth would be $105,000. Make sense so far? With leverage, you made $20,000 more. Let me share a quote from the Joint Center for Housing Studies at the Harvard University on this topic. And I quote, homeownership allows households to amplify any appreciation of the value of their home by a leverage factor, end quote. Reason two of six why now is appreciation. When you rent, the only value you get is a place to live for a month. And there's no long-term economic advantage because your landlord is not giving you a rebate at the end of the month for the amount of money your apartment went up in value. Real estate is an asset that has appreciated over time. My headquarters is in Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh is located in Wake County. Over the last 10 years, real estate has appreciated 6.47% per year over the last 10 years. Over the last 63 years in Wake County, 
real estate has appreciated 3.42% per year. Now, just because something happened in the past, it does not mean it's going to happen in the future. But it's safe to assume appreciation will continue. Again, real estate is a long-term investment. And over time, real estate tends to appreciate. Remember, the U.S., has a shortage of homes available for sale. When supply is low and demand is high, it is likely another signal of higher home prices are knocking on the door. And that means your home value will go up. I believe that investing in real estate is smart. And I have confirmation that it is easier to make a million dollars in real estate than it is at your nine to five job. Reason number six of, or excuse me, reason number three of six is why now is inflation. Owning real estate is an inflation buster since real estate is a hedge against inflation. Let me define inflation. Inflation is a general increase in prices and a fall in purchasing value of money. Housing costs and rents tend it over periods of time to go up higher than the rate of inflation. And for this reason, owning a home is an attractive proposition because it provides a hedge against inflation. Reason four of six why now is because Owning real estate is less risky than owning other assets. In my opinion, owning real estate is less risky than owning stocks. Sure, on the aggregate, the S&P 500 has returned an historic annual average return of 11.8% from inception through the end of 2021. As the returns of this last 64 years sound sexy, to secure them, you would have to be in at the right time and out at the right time. If your timing is off, even by microns, you will not get the highs out. You will get the lows. I fear you will not enjoy as much as a return as the 11.86%. Real estate is a hard asset and hard assets survive any type of market. Let me say it another way. A stock could go to zero and to be fair, so could the value of a home. But when a stock is at zero, you have nothing. But if real estate goes to nothing, you still have the dirt the home is on, and you can still live in that home. Reason number five of six why now is there may be substantial tax benefits to owning a home and having a mortgage. A unique financial reason to buying a home and having a mortgage is if you itemize your taxes, you may be able to deduct the mortgage interest you pay. Now listen, I'm a certified mortgage advisor or a CMA. I am not a CPA, but it is my understanding that homeowners who itemize tax deductions can deduct interest up to $750,000 of mortgage balance used to buy, build, or improve a qualified home. For more information, see IRS Publication 916. Essentially, Uncle Sam will help you pay for your mortgage but he will not help you pay for your rent. If you go to the Learning Center at www.martinimortgagegroup.com, you can find a very simple three-step process to calculate the potential impact of the mortgage interest deduction. Finally, number six of six of why now is retirement. I'm gonna make this one very simple. At the time of retirement, 83% of wealth comes from real estate. Let me say it again if you are multitasking. 
83% of the average homeowner's wealth at the time of retirement comes from home equity and not from their 401k or IRA or savings account or other investments. Your home is not just a roof. It is an investment. Let me wrap this up with a very important point and maybe the most important point I could ever make to someone looking to buy real estate. Buying a home as a first-time home buyer, as a repeat home buyer, is not about timing the market. It's about being proactive and seeking the knowledge you need to make an educated, long-term investment. Some think the process of buying a home does not start with the loan. Some believe it starts with those fancy real estate websites but it does not. Nor does it start with uh, searching for open houses. The process of home ownership should always start with the home loan. And after you have price and cost clarity with certainty, then you can start the search. My name is Kevin Martini and I'm a certified mortgage advisor with the Martini Mortgage Group. Yes, we're based in Raleigh, North Carolina. However, we help families all over the U.S. To reach me or my business partner, Logan Martini, for a confidential conversation, I invite you to give us a call by dialing 919-238-4934. Oh, by the way, if you have any questions about what you've heard on this episode, please give us a call. We're happy to help. Again, our number is 919-238-4934. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to episode 163 of the Martini Mortgage Podcast. And thank you in advance for sharing it with someone you care about that might benefit.